Crocodile Lake Community Butterfly Garden. Yeah, there we go. Killing me. Yeah. Yeah, these are orchid oh, bees. This is a loss. Orchid bees came in from, I believe, Costa Rica. And uh, they are cool. Very pretty, pretty little bees down here in South Florida. Um, they are everywhere, man. Look at this. Come on, man. I'm trying to get one of these guys to stay still long enough for me to take a picture. <laughs> Easier said than done. Let's see, did I get him? Yeah, this, this phone is not the best camera for taking videos of these for sure but you can see the pollen you underneath have a camera at home, right? yeah I haven't really yeah the vi for video it's not that good no I don't have any of that it's older in fact my camera my camera died oh yeah yeah it's time for a new one Ricky made a pretty cool little discovery here. Look, this way, there's a thousand here. Huh? All beetles? Those, all those. They're all beetles. Yeah. All right, so pretty cool. There are these little beetles that are going to the blooms. They've got a little triangle on their thorax. Or It's cool. Oh, there's a wasp. They look like wasps. No, there's a there's a wasp, oh. big black wasp. Hey, yeah. Cool. All right. So all these guys here are all beetles, huh? Yeah. On the wild coffee. Oh, upstairs, up there too. Look. Oh. That one has one. Everywhere. That's, that's crab wood. Oh, all the... I see them. All the little insects flying around up there. All those same little beetles. On the blooms of the crab wood. Right. Crab wood blooms. Bet that's good for hair streaks. All right, waiting for butterfly number one. Oh, they were. So some Julia's? Yeah, it was Julia's here. Yeah. Yeah, that's why they went. The Julia? Yeah. Up there, right? Oh, yeah. First Julia. Oh, he landed for me and everything. There we go. How close will you let me get? Mr. Julia. The, the males in Key Largo have uh, just that one little spot on the forewing. 
the males on the mainland usually have two spot two spots so the ones in the keys are a little different a lot of these plants are in flower here we've had a lot of rain so we've got this this thing here in flower is that think it's inkwood so lantana native lantana in flower We have the crab, crab wood in flower. Springtime, springtime. And we have another Julia finding nectar on. What are we on here? Wild coffee? Dryest Julia. All the green bees, orchid bees, orchid bees, 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 bees. bees. Oh, the Julias are coming out, boy. A lot of Julias. Yeah, they're, they're coming out. A, that one's a bright orange one. Yeah, he is. Oh, I dare you to let me video you. Oh, you know what? All right, so guys, so far, the only butterfly we're seeing are these uh, Julias. Of course... When I put my camera down and start to uh, film with my phone, he sits there. He's not the freshest one anyway. But there's a bunch of them here, guys. A bunch of Julia's out. They love this uh, wild coffee. They really like this stuff. The Shao Swallowtail like it too. Costa Rica. Yeah, Ricky just found these uh, green orchid bees from Costa Rica that are here. Um, they are all over the place. Like, they can sting you? They can. They, they're, they're not very aggressive. They're not aggressive at all. No. But they are cool. Very, very pretty. Your hand, your very pretty. Yeah, if you, if you pick them up. Will they die like, like normal bees? Uh, no. No? Uh, I don't know. To be honest. That's the shells. Mm. Shell swallowtail. Dude, if I see that, I will collect it because I don't know. I already think something else. <laughs> no, that's why, we, <laughs> that's why we don't we don't collect swallowtails in, in uh, North Key Largo because... It just that might be one of those. Oh, that's a black swallowtail. Phew. Oh, yeah, shoot. yeah. Yep. No, that's a nope. shell swallowtail right there. And um, <laughs> boy, oh boy, the deer flies found me again. They like me. They like me. <laughs> it came off. It came off the first time. Did it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. So some cool host plants. All right. Cool host plants. All right. This is crab wood. That's the host plant for our Florida purple wing. Okay. And 
boy oh boy it doesn't ever look like that and there's something eating it but not a not a Florida purple wing caterpillar it's a big old big old tree snail beautiful tree snail all right big crab wood all right this guys is this is rough velvet seed it's got these little white flowers here when these flowers turn into seeds they have a bright red seed that looks like velvet that's why they call it that but Shouse, Shouse, Shouse is swallowtail. Shouse is swallowtail. Yeah. Is a slow, flying slow flying butterfly. Yeah. And they don't have a teardrop. And oh, Lorenzo's L Lorenzo's reading, huh? What, what'd you What'd you learn, buddy? Over there. It talked to you about it a little yeah. bit. Okay. So yeah, so Lorenzo just read that how to tell them apart from a giant. They don't have the little teardrop coloration on the hind wing like a giant swallowtail. They have this line on both sides like this so that's good all right guys this is rough velvet seed this is the uh if you touch the top of the leaf it's very rough there's another one called smooth velvet seed this is the host plant for the uh for the sagra sphinx and as well as the half blind sphinx so always look for caterpillars on on this stuff I've yet to find a caterpillar for either one of those species. That's one of the things on my on my to-do list. I, I'm not seeing any major caterpillar damage, but um, right here is the uh, oh gosh, it just left me. Torchwood. Torchwood. Torchwood is the How native native host plant for the shell swallowtail guys. So this is the plant in the Florida Keys that the shell swallowtail would be eating, the caterpillar that is, and they would lay eggs on the real new growth like this, or maybe like, actually more, more like this stuff right here. I didn't even see the of Well, it's early yet, buddy. Oh. It's early yet. So the, they would lay eggs on this, on this really new, new little growth, these new little leaves, that's where they would lay eggs. Um, I don't see any eggs or young caterpillars. We're, we're in the right season. This is the right time of year where you would hope to see possibly the eggs or small caterpillars of a shallow swallowtail.